I, this could be terrible. It could be great. I don't know. There's there's quite a lot to choose from. We got some videos to, to go through. Again, the majority will be on Wednesday, but I wanted to play some today. So let me get this uh, queued up. And we can hear from the author herself about Brent Spiner's magical adventures and taking shits. I mean, I'm, I'm sold on it. Uh, maybe we can even find a video about her talking about how he's been cloned by the evil gay Jesuits. It's fucking Jesuits, man. You think it's a Catholics? You know, with the whole little boy thing? It's the Jesuits you gotta watch out for. They're the ones that are handing out those mind control drugs and giving people ideas on to br on bringing others to the zoo to get them fucked by elephants. All right, let's uh, let's cue this up again. This is Brent Spiner's letter to Gail. He wrote this to her. When did he write this to her? This year, January fourteenth. We pooped. January thirteenth, twenty nineteen. Dearest Gail, as you well know. I've been hard at work solving the dilemma of our current poop pregnancy crisis on board Church of Gale. Well, you know, I th <laughs> is this going to be about gay ass babies? Did Brent Spiner, does data from Star Trek research gay ass babies? I'm, I'm already interested, to be honest. I sit here writing to you now with my exceptionally long penis buried deeply and warmly into my vagina butt. <laughs> I need to start opening my letters to people. That's my new That's my new uh, opener on emails. The next time I get a hold of David Stay, I'm going to write and say, Dear David, uh, I, I'm currently writing you with my large erect penis inside my vagina butt. Or if I may say more correctly, our vagina butt. I couldn't be more thankful than now for the blessing that is my 18.5 inch manhood as the gentle hugging from your vagina inside my rectum is perhaps the source of my strength during these trying times. <laughs> His penis got bigger. I don't know what happened from the 1990s to now, but it used to be 18.25 inches, and it's grown half an inch. Brent Spiner's penis doesn't stop growing. By the time he's 80 years old, it'll stretch half a block down the street. Meanwhile, on Church of Gale, the rest of the men have understandably become deeply emotionally distressed. One must understand that for a man, pooping is an essential part of their masculinity. Aside from masturbation in the mornings, the evenings, and sometimes the afternoons in the workplace bathroom, pooping... I, <laughs> I like how she snuck that one in there. You know, hey, cranking one out is pretty, pretty normal. You know, in the morning, in the evening... Sometimes at lunchtime, at work, at work, at your desk, while looking your boss in the eye and sticking your 18.5 inch penis in your vagina butt. It's one of the most magical and empowering times of a normal man's day. The physical pain of our swollen bowels combined with the loss of a critical emotional outlet has led many of our men to fall into depression. And a constant line has since formed outside of Gerard Butler's psychiatry office. Why don't you consent to a colostomy, Vladimir, Gerard asked. No, Vladimir pounded his fist on the table. Colostomy bag is for walking dead like Hillary Clinton. I would rather be euthanasia like dog than become as Hillary Clinton. Coughing fit, pants of shit, Gail's base. She's a base megapede. Trump 2020, Gail's on board. Come on. We need to get her a mega hat so she can complete the look. Doesn't she doesn't believe in that Hillary Clinton shit? <laughs> she sent for the Walking Dead, a colostomy bag for fucking zombies. I, Vladimir. Hopefully, it will not come to that. Gerard replied calmly in his soothing voice. With Brent working hard at a solution for all this, soon we men may all poop honorably on our own terms. Similar conversations were had with all of the men reporting to Gerard's office for counseling. Okay, you know what? I, 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 you know, I'm, I'm going to pause this for one second. Um, she keeps bringing up Gerard Butler, and I'm sure that's an actor. I just don't know what from what. What is he an actor from? <laughs> Why is Gerard Butler counseling people about taking poops? <laughs> what the fuck? You've got to be... This is... I know this guy. Why is this guy involved in Brent Spider taking poops? <laughs> what the fuck? Um, let me, let me, let me pull his picture up for everybody. Oh, uh, let me zoom in on this. There we go. 
so this is the man that's providing counseling services to men that need to take poops. Uh, Gerard Butler. Now, I don't know uh, what insight he has into putting enormous penises into vagina butts or how it affects your psyche, but he's pretty fucking adamant that colostomy bags are for bitches. You heard it here. Gerard Butler, if you need a colostomy bag, go vote for Hillary Clinton. Take that lib shit stuff the fuck out of here. This is Megatown, all right? We put our penises in our vagina butts proudly here. <laughs> Fucking Gerard Butler. <laughs> How did he get roped into this? Oh, you know, there are calls, uh, recorded Skype calls on her channel uh, that are allegedly from Gerard Butler telling her about his nefarious <laughs> plans with gay clones. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's what did it. 